What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, and CJ back with another video on Power Automate. And this time we're looking at the chunk function. Um, so chunk is a new function in the string functions collection. Uh, it allows you to split a string or split an array into equal parts based on um, what you put into it. So this is useful if you know you're going to have certain numbers of um, certain numbers of groups or certain numbers of, of strings and things like that, and you need to put them into an easy to output array um, to do something with. So let's take a look at it today. So we're in Power Automate. I've got my manual trigger here, and then underneath my manual trigger, I've got a compose action. In my compose action, I can click over to my expression window, um, and I can either search through the string functions down here, and find it, find it, uh, no, can't find it. Or we can just type in chunk, chunk. Um, open parentheses, chunk collection. So it says we pass in an array or a string and then we give it a, a specific length. So we split an array of string, a string based on a specific length. Um, you can use split to split certain um, arrays and text and things like that. Um, chunk allows you to do this in just a very, uh, very easy to, easy to use manner of just, we you know, split something and then we're just gonna put something in. So what we will do is we'll put in some text. Um, so we'll put in some double quotation marks and we'll put in, um, this is, uh, is single quotation marks? I don't remember. This is some text to split into equal amounts. I can never remember single quotation marks, double quotation marks in this thing. And then we'll split that into uh, we'll call it blocks of four. So this is the text that we're putting in, and this is the length that we're putting in. So we'll hit save, hit chunk, um, and then we'll test this out. So we'll run this manually, hit save and test, and we'll run the flow. Click done. See the flow run successfully, <coughs> and then the output is this array. So. It splits it into an array, so it splits it into chunks of data. So we've done this by four, so this, uh, then, so again, we're starting from the first character. Uh, there is, um, with two spaces on either side, so that's the four, uh, and again, it just splits it off into little uh, chunks of four. So that's really useful, it's really handy to uh, be able to create these things and, and, and split out into its um, amounts. And we can see, as we get to the last one, we got uh, ONT, uh, and then the last one is S. So split into equal equal chunks of four uh, as we specified, and then the last one only has one character in, and therefore it's got one in the last one. So that's how we do it with a string. Uh, so how do we do it in an array? So what we'll do is we will use another expression in here. We click in the right spot, and we'll choose create array. So I've got a video on create array if you'd like to look at it. And what we can do is we can just specify in um, let's just specify in some numbers. So we'll, we'll specify in, um, let's just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. <coughs> so, so that's, that's our array. So we're going to have an array of numbers um, that will look like this coming in. Um, and we can, we, we want, want to chunk this data, we want to take this data. So we can use nested nested statements in here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll do uh, this, uh, type in here, chunk, we'll open brackets, uh, take away that parentheses. Um, so I'll chunk this array here. I can't remember the keyboard short drop for, for like, there we go. It's control and uh, control and uh, close brace um, tabs it to the right. Control and left brace tabs it to the left. So I really love this there. Should never remember how to use it. So we'll um, hit a comma there. So we have chunk, create this array under, and then we'll chunk this into uh, what we got. Uh, we'll chunk this into threes, uh, not fives. That'll be fine. And then we'll close that bracket out. So we're gonna chunk this array uh, into fives, and that's what we're gonna do. Hit save, see it says chunk in there. We'll hit test, and we'll see if I wrote the formula right. I, I hope I did. Uh, run the flow, yes, power automate, you can know our location. Run flow, 
player run successfully, we should see, cool, so we've got these chunks of data out. So, um, so it isn't, again, it is an array. It's, it's going to output it as an array. So we've got um, one, two, three, four, five, because we did this in fives, six to 10, 11 to 15, and then 16 on its own. Again, because that last one doesn't have, have five things in, it just has one thing in, so it chunks that last bit out as, a, as an individual thing. Um, so there you have it, that is chunk. So this is a way to get data out into equal parts. So good if you know you have like maybe a fixed length of things um, that will always be in fives, say, or always be in twos, and you just need to get them out into an array so you can do something uh, with, with that data and maybe loop through that data and, and do something with it. Um, so what are your use cases? Do you Have you used chunk before? Do you think we'll use it now? What will you use it for? I'm really interested to know. Let me know in the comments. If you did like this video, if you could like it and share it with a friend, that'd be really great. It really supports this channel. If you hit the subscribe button again, that really supports this channel. So I really, really would appreciate you doing that. Um, and I will see you next time.